guys, my name is Brie and today I'm going to be doing yet another unboxing. So this is the second month that I have officially been subscribed to Owl Crates. I will leave a link to Owl Crates website down below. They are an awesome subscription box website. I love this subscription box because being the book nerd that I am, I love receiving books and all of the little bookish things that come in these boxes are super cute. From Owl Crate, you will receive one brand new book and three to five bookish things. These things can range anywhere from jewelry to posters to t-shirts to mugs. And I'm super excited to open this, you guys. I'm very, very excited. And one of the reasons why I am so excited is because the theme for July's box is good versus evil. The way that these boxes were made for this month is they made half of their boxes good boxes and half of their boxes evil boxes and they sent them out at random so the receivers of the box don't know whether they got a good or an evil box and I'm really excited to open it I have not I have not unsealed it Oop, you can't see my address but I haven't unsealed it so because I wanted to share with you guys the experience of opening it for myself all right got my handy scissors and let's open this box it's a little harder than I remember it being Oh man. Eee! Victory! The card is typically always on top, but just like always, I'm gonna show you guys what's in the box first. Not looking. Da, 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 da. Like I thought it was the card. Okay. <gasps> and I already love the first thing that I see. Oh my gosh. It's Dobby! It's Dobby from Harry Potter! Which also leads me to believe that my box is a good box, but let's see what's in the rest of it. We have this cute little vector engraving box. I don't really know how you say it, vector engraving. And it's from Etsy, let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, it's a Star Wars necklace. Look at that, look at that. That's so cool. I don't even know if you can really see it. That's so cool. I love Star Wars, I love Star Wars. Yeah, there we go. Love it. Tiny little magnet bookmarks sent me one of these. <gasps> it's Alice from Alice in Wonderland. I totally didn't even like recognize her at first. I mean, I had a small feeling, but I wasn't really sure because like, I don't know, my brain didn't put two and two together. And then there's a little quote on the back by Lewis Carroll. It says, I know who I was when I got up this morning, but I think I must have changed several times since then. Oh, this is so cool. I love magnetic bookmarks, and this is my little Alice in Wonderland one. A little fun fact about me, when I was little, I actually, like, every single time I would go to my grandparents' house, and you remember when, like, cassette tapes were, like, the biggest thing, and we had, like, the VCR and everything? Yeah, I made them play the Alice in Wonderland uh, cassette tape all the time. I mean, there isn't even really a number, because as soon as it was done, I would ask them to rewind it. And you know that rewinding those things does not is not super fast. I mean, <laughs> I would sit there with my finger on the rewind button and then play it all again. I mean, I still to this day know all the songs. I mean, I loved the original Alice in Wonderland. And then we have this super cute little sticker with a quote on it. I'm assuming the quote's from a book. I think it might be. I really don't know. I'm unfamiliar with this quote. But the quote says, you have me until the last star in the galaxy dies, you have me. And it's super pretty, I just, I love the colors and I love stickers, stickers are so much fun. All the super fun, papery, flurry stuff that gets everywhere if you don't take care of it. Oh my gosh, guys, the book! Oh, this is great! So we have a lovely little Victoria Schwab sticker with her signature on it, if that doesn't already give you a clue as to what the book is. And I'm, I'm gonna show you the book at the end though, because there's a couple of other things in here. <gasps> there's a YA cover coloring book. What? Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's got this savage song, every hidden thing, Red Queen. Oh my gosh, it's got Sing. It's got the lifeboat click. Oh my gosh, this is just, this is just, it's great. I love coloring, I love art. And this is super, this is a super little cute little addition to the box. I love how creative this is. So, if you have not guessed it already by the little Victoria Schwab signature sticker that is supposed to go on the inside of this book, which by the way is a book I've been wanting for a very long time. I'm very excited to read it. The book for the month of July is 
This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I've heard nothing but great reviews about this book, and especially from Jesse the Reader in particularly, whoa, in particularly, because he talks about how much he loved this book, and not only that, but this is one of those novels that does not have any romance in it, which is going to be great because half of the YA novels that I read, well, not even half, more like 80% of the YA novels that I read, they all have some kind of romance in them. So I feel like this one is going to be one of those, you know, those nice twists that doesn't have as much as a romantic twist on it, you know, because like the two characters in this book are really good friends. And I basically know close to nothing about this book other than the fact that it's really pretty. I mean, look at the look at the letters. Ooh, look at it naked. It's so pretty. It's one of those books that's like, you know, it's just your simple black book, but it's got the little imprint right there in the middle. That's really pretty. And then the letters on the spine, they're all red, just like Six of Crows. But I assure you, this book is nothing like Six of Crows, in case that like misled anybody. I promise it's not the same at all. So clearly, I got a good box, and I loved everything that came in my good box. I can't really stack this on here. I can't stack everything. Oh, let's get Dobby out of his box. Oh no. Oh, he's so sweet. Master has given Dobby a sock. Dobby is a free elf. So that was my July Owl Crate unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I loved making it. I loved everything that was in this box. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. That's all I have for you guys today and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!